Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Tuesday, August 29, 2023. Today, we will recap yesterday's MLB games. Look at today's game, same with the soccer, FIBA, WNBA. We have the U.S. Open. I'll give out a future for the portfolio. I have defensive end and outside linebacker rankings today. News and notes and best bet. We'll start with baseball. We'll try to be very quick with going over the results. And looking ahead to the slate. Or Phillies over the Angels 6-4. Yanks over the Tigers 4-1. O's over the White Sox 9-0. Jays over the Nats 3 or 6-3. Astros over the Red Sox 13-5. Rangers over the Mets 4-3. Max Scherzer's return. Twins over the Guardians 10-6. But it's not really Max Scherzer's return. It's um, his return series. Um, Twins over the Guardians, 10-6. Padres over the Cardinals for one. Brewers over the Cubs, 6-2. Pirates over the Royals, 5-0. Braves over the Rockies, 14-4. Mariners over the A's, 7-0. Giants over the Reds, 4-1. And the Dodgers over the Diamondbacks, 7-4. All right, tonight's late, 6-30. You have the Yanks at the Tigers. Michael King in the opener roller against Trey Ball. <sighs> Don't like when the Yankees do the opener thing. It's falling flat on their face. It didn't work for them against the in the playoffs against the Rays. Everyone and their mother says it cost them that series. But they couldn't hit in that series either. Um, now they're doing it to save innings for their starters and really... Uh, just not use their starters as much. And scoop ball for Detroit hasn't been that bad either, amazingly enough. Um, they're favored again, minus 118. The Yanks are even money over under 8. Overs minus 112, unders minus 08. Yanks minus 1.5 is plus 162. Tigers plus 1.5 is minus 200. Um, I'm not going to with the Tigers minus 118. It's just a uh, anti-Yankee pick at this point. Angels fills. Tyler Anderson and Michael Lorenzen. Phil's minus 158. Angels plus 134. Over under 9.5. Minus 10 each way. Angels plus 1.5 is minus 40. Phillies minus 1.5 is plus 116. I don't hate the over, so I'm going to go with it. Um, Rays Marlins. Aaron Savali and Sandy Alcantara. Good pitching matchup. Marlins minus 122. Rays plus 104. Over under 7.5. Minus 10 each way. Rays plus 1.5 is minus 5. Marlins minus 1.5 is plus 168. Aaron Savali's been better than Sandy Alcantara this year. Give me the race, plus 104. And so they're still playing for a division crown as they are three back in the loss column of the O's. Next up, speaking of the O's, 7 o'clock, they host the White Sox, Jesse Schultons and Dean Kremer. O's minus 25, White Sox plus 188, over on their 9.5, overs minus 105, unders minus 115. White Sox plus 1.5 and O's minus 1.5 is minus 110 each way. I do like the over 9.5 in this one. Nats Jays, Mackenzie Gore and Jose Barrios. Jays minus 196, Nats plus 164, over under 8, minus 10 each fight. Nats plus 1 half is minus 134, Jays minus 1 half is plus 112. I like the under, don't feel good about it. Astros, Red Sox, JP France and Brian Balow. Red Sox minus 120, Astros plus 102, over under 10 and a half, overs minus 106, others minus 114. Astros plus one half is minus one eight. Sox minus one half is plus one fifty five. And actually, I didn't really notice, but they have actually been playing high scoring games these two teams this season against each other. Um, that's why the total so spiked. But I'm gonna go with the under because I think ten halves too high. Rangers Mets Andrew Heaney and Jose Quintana. Rangers minus one thirty two. Mets plus one twelve over under eight and a half minus ten each way. Rangers minus one half is plus one twenty six. Mets plus one half is minus one fifty two. I like the over in that one, too. I think um, the Mets can get to Andrew Heaney a little bit, and vice versa with the Rangers. 7.30, Guardians, Twins. Gavin Williams and Pablo Lopez. Twins minus 174. Guardians plus 146. Over under 7.5. Overs minus 106. Unders minus 114. Guardians plus 1.5 is minus 146. Twins minus 1.5 is plus 122. I like the Guardians at plus 146. Padres cards at 7.45. Seth Lugo and Zach Thompson. 
Padres minus 154, cards plus 130, over under 9, over is even money, unders minus 122. Padres minus 1.5 is plus 102, cards plus 1.5 is minus 122. Um, tough one. But I'm going to go with under 3.5 Cardinal runs at even money, only because I think Seth Lugo can pitch well here. 8 o'clock, Brewers-Cubs. Corbin Burns and Justin Steele. Um, interested to see who's favored here. Um, Cubs minus 136, Brewers plus 116, over under 7, over Z money, under is minus 132. Brewers plus 1.5 is minus 200, Cubs minus 1.5 is plus 164. Um, I took the Brewers yesterday and they won outright. I'm doing it again. Um, I just don't think the Cubs are ready for a spot like this. Give me the Brewers plus 116. Um, Pirates, Royals. Colin Selby and Cole Reagans. Um, Royals minus 154. Pirates plus 130. Over on their 9. Overs minus 105. Unders minus 115. Pittsburgh plus 1.5 is minus 162. Royals minus 1.5 is plus 134. I like the over. 830 Braves Rockies. Charlie Morton and Peter Lambert. Um, Braves minus 255. Rockies plus 210. Over on their 12. Overs minus 105. Unders minus 115. Braves minus one half is plus one seventy. Rockies plus one half is plus one forty. I like the under. That's way too high. Um, A's Mariners nine thirty. Ken Waldachuk, George Kirby. Mariners minus three twenty. A's plus two sixty. Over under seven half. Overs minus one eighteen. Unders minus one four. A's plus one half is plus one fourteen. Mariners minus one half is minus one thirty seven. I like the over. Reds Giants nine forty five. Brandon Williamson, Alex Cobb. Giants minus 172. Reds plus 144. Over under 8. Overs minus 105. Unders minus 115. Reds plus 1.5 is minus 156. Giants minus 1.5 is plus 130. Um, I like the under. And last but not least, or I'm sorry, the over. The over. I'm, I was staring at the next game. That's why I had under in my head. Last but not least, 10 o'clock. D-backs, Dodgers, Merrill Kelly, and Clayton Kershaw. Dodgers minus 188. D-backs plus 158. Over under 8. Minus 180. Troy. D-backs plus 1.5 is minus 1.38. Dodgers minus 1.5 is plus 1.15. This is the game I was eyeing the under. I said under looking at this game and not Reds-Giants. I like the under in this one. Clayton Kershaw, automatic under. I just think that guy's an ageless wonder at this point in his career. All right, now I'll move on to soccer. Um, we'll recap the notable games. Look ahead to everything going on today. Um, Italian Serie A from yesterday. Southern Ritana and Udinese 1-1 one, one draw and Inter Milan over Cagliari 2-0. Um, La Liga from yesterday, Getafe over Alaves 1-0 and Atletico over Rayo 7-0. So best bet one yesterday. And then Liga MX from yesterday, Athletic San Luis over Pachuca 2-0. And then we have a lot today. Um, the Carabao Cup's going on. Um, but we do not have time to um, actually pick the games from a betting standpoint because we have other obligations to get to with the show. Um, 2.30, Swansea, Bournemouth, 2.45, Rexham, Bradford, Birmingham, Cardiff, Tremere, Leicester, Wolves, Blackpool, Stoke, Rotherham, Sheffield Wednesday, Mansfield, Portsmouth, Peterborough, Port Vale, Cruay, uh, Plymouth Crystal Palace, Wacombe Suton United, Newport Brentford, Luton Gillingham, Fulham Tottenham, Exeter Stevenage, Bristol City, Norwich City, um, Bolton Borough, 3 o'clock, Southfield City, Leeds, and Reading and Ipswich. So that's the second round of Carabao Cup beginning today. Um... We'll also have UCL qualifying. We'll pick those because we have time. Um, it's only three. So it's the playoff round of UCL. So at 3 o'clock today, you have Young Boys and Maccabi Hafia. Um, Young Boys minus 140, Maccabi plus 320, draw plus 270. I'm going to go. Ooh, this is a hard one, and they're tied on aggregate. So I'm going to go under 2.5 goals, plus 102. 
Galatasaray and Molde. Galatasaray leads 3 2 on aggregate. They're minus 195 favorites. Molde's plus 420, draws plus 330. I'm going to go over 3 and a half goals at plus 126. And then Panathinakos and Braga. Braga leads 2 1 on aggregate. Um, Panathinakos plus 150, Braga plus 160, draw plus 230. I'm going to go with the draw plus 230 in that one. And then Saudi Pro League yesterday, Abba over Al Faya 2 1. Al Hilal over Al Ikatov 2 0. Al Rayad over Al Raida 3 0. And Al Idihad over Al Wada 3 0. And then today, um, we're not going to do picks because of time. 11 o'clock, Al Okdud and Al Tawoon. Um, Damak and Al Fateh. Al Ali and Al Tai. Al Khalij and Al Hazem. And Al Nasir and Al Shabab. All right, now move on to the WNBA, um, or I'm sorry, FIFA. Um, so we'll do FIFA first. Uh, we'll go over the results and then look ahead to um, tomorrow morning. So Group F, Cape Verde over Venezuela, 81-75. Group B, South Sudan over China, 89-69. Group C, New Zealand over Jordan, 95-87. In overtime, Group G, Ivory Coast over Iran, 71-69. Group G, Slovenia over Georgia, 88-67. Group B, Serbia over Puerto Rico, 94-77. Group C, U.S. over Greece, 109-81. And Group G, Spain over Brazil, 96-78. So, this morning results, um, Group E, Germany over Finland, 101-75. Group A, DR over Angola, 75-67. Group D, Egypt over Mexico, 172. Group H, France over Lebanon, 85-79. Group B, Australia over Japan, 109-89. Group A, Italy over Philippines, 90-83. In Group D, Lithuania over Montenegro, 91-71. And then going on right now, Group H, Canada is up at halftime right now as we speak. All right, tomorrow morning's um, slate. Um, we're just going to do the whole slate in case um, I record late. In the morning tomorrow, um, eight thirty, or I'm sorry, the date's eight thirty. Um, four o'clock, ESPN Plus, Group F, Georgia, in Venezuela, Georgia one one, Venezuela, oh and two. Um, so these will pick because, um, this is a, a bigger thing for the podcast right now. Um, Georgia's all, uh, giving a whopping thirteen and a half totals, one sixty and a half. Um, so, this is interesting, um, obviously this is Group F, um, I think that number's high, but the total's also, give me the over. Also for him, Group B, South Sudan, Serbia, Serbia's 2-0, South Sudan is 1-1, Serbia is 16.5 point favorite, total is 167.5, um, I am going to um take the over in that one too. Um 4:40 a.m. on ESPN2. US and Jordan, US is 2 and 0, Jordan's 0 and 2. Um US is giving 41 and a half totals 185 and a half. Oh my god. That's insane. Um total so high. Um, I'm going to take the over, even though that's a really high total. 545, ESPN Plus, Group G, Ivory Coast, Brazil. Um, Ivory's and Brazil are both one and one. Brazil's giving 18 and a half totals, 157 and a half. Um, I'm going to take the over. These point spreads are ridiculous. 730, ESPN Plus, Group F, Slovenia, Cape Verde. Slovenia's giving 26 and a half totals, 174 and a half. Um, obviously this is, uh, the Luca team. With Slovenia. Um, or is it Lithuania that's Luka? Oh, no, it is Slovenia. Um, I like the over. Yeah, I was right. It was Slo- Slovenia. 8 o'clock, ESPN Plus, Group B, China, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico's giving 11 half totals, 161.5. Um, these point spreads are way too out of whack. I like the over. 
Um, 840 ESPN Plus Group C, Greece, New Zealand. Um, Greece is giving 9.5, totals 163.5. Um, I'm actually willing to lay the points of Greece, but it's minus 122, so it's juice. I like the over. And 9.30 on ESPN Plus Group G, Iran, Spain. Iran's 0-2, Spain's 2-0. and Spain's giving a whopping 32.5, totals 155.5 over. So pretty much every game that I picked here, I took the over. All right, so the WNBA, um, we will recap the results from yesterday, a result, and then look ahead to tonight. Liberty over the Aces, 90-45. So the Liberty, amazingly enough, go 3-2 and two against the Aces this season, including the Commissioner's Cup title game. Uh, they are 28-7. Vegas is 30-6. and six, So one back in the loss column of the one seed. Sabrina Nesky, 25 points. Jackie Young at 24 for Vegas. All right, tonight we have three games. 7 o'clock, CBS Sports Network. You have the Mercury and the Dream. The Dream are giving 8.5 totals, 160 and a half. Um, I'm going to lay it with the Dream. I feel like the Mercury team would just quit. NBA TV, 7 o'clock. You have the Lynx and the Mystics. The Mystics are giving 6.5 totals, 163 and a half. Um, I'm taking the Lynx again. The point that is a big spread. But is Della Don back? Yeah, it looks like she's back. So that's why that they juiced that line. And at 1030 CBS Sports Arc, you have the Sky and the Sparks. The Sparks are giving 4.5, totals 160 and a half. Um, I'm taking the Sky, getting the points. That is a lot of points for two like evenly teams. So I'm taking the Sky, getting the 4.5. All right, now we'll move on to tennis. Um, the U.S. Open will go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to today, which is... Very, very busy. Um, we'll start with the men. Um, first round, two seed Novak Djokovic over Alexandre Mueller in three sets. Borna Gojo over Hugo Delian in three sets. Seven seed Stefano Sipias over Milos Vrancic in three sets. Hugo Gostan over Sho Shema Burko in three sets. Dominic Stricker over Alexei Paprian in four sets. Benjamin Bonzi over Quentin Halley's in four sets. Roman Safulin over Marco Cecinato in three sets. Mackenzie McDonald over 15 seed Felix Algarasalame in four sets. 2018 Christopher Eubanks over Swoon Wu Kwan in four sets. 14 seed Tommy Paul over Stefano Treviglia in four sets. Aslan Karastev over Hiri Lacheka in three sets. Um... Benarbe, Zapata, Morales over Ethan Quinn in three sets. 19, Taylor Fritz over Steve Johnson in three sets. Tatuan Drogit over ATT Lorenzo Musetti in five sets. It was a great match. Um, Jerry Vesley over Enzo Kosadad in five sets. 20 seat Francisco Serendola over Zachary Svogita in four sets. Um... Juan Varillas over Milmer Krakmovic in four sets. Martin Fuskovic upsets 31 seed Sebastian Korda in five sets. 32 seed Lasso Dejer over Brandon Nakashima in three sets. Rinki Hijikata over Pavel Kotov in four sets. Um, Jacob Mensik over Georgi Barrere in four sets. Tensi Francis Tiafo over Lerner Tian in three sets. 5 seed Casper Root over Emilio Nava in four sets. Roberto Perez Bena upsets 4 seed Olga Rune in four sets. 21 seed Alejandro Davidich Fokina over Marcus Chiron in three sets. Dominic Time over 25 seed Alexander Bublik in three sets. Ben Shelton over Pedro Chassin in four sets. Fabian Marazan over Richard Gosquet in five sets. Um. Juan Serendolo over Ilya Ivashka in five sets. Zizen Zhang over JJ Wolf in five sets. Sebastian Offner over Nuno Borges in four sets. And 22 seed Adrian Manorino over Yusuke Watanuki in four sets. 
All right, today, 11 o'clock, you have 2019 Hugo Humbert and Matteo Berrettini, 24th seed, Italian Greeksport and Austin Phils, James Duckworth and Felipe Olives, Max Purcell and Chris O'Connell, Jason Kubler and Matteo Arnaldi, uh, 23 seed Nicholas Jari and Luca Van Esch, 12 seed Alexander Zverev and Alexander Vukic, Diego Schwartzman and Arthur Rinderneck, 12 o'clock, 3 seed Daniil Mavedev and Attila Balaz, uh, 12 15, Alex Mulkan and 19 seed Grigor Dimitriov, 11 seed Karen Kaknovov and Michael Amo, Daniel Altmaier and Constant Listen, Albert Ramos Vinolas and Alex Michelson, Andy Murray and Corinton Motet, Alexander Shevenko and 16 Cam Nori, 1 o'clock Sebastian Baez and 2017 Borna Koric, Thanasi Kakanakis and um, Yu Husu Husu, or Yu, Yu Hisai Husu. 1.30, um, Facundo Diaz, Acosta, and John Isner. 2.15, Stan Marinka and Yoshishito Nishioka. Botek Van de Zanschulp and Jordan Thompson. Um, Emil Rusevori and 8 seed Andre Rublev. Um, Mark Andrea Hussler and 17 seed Hubert Hurkaz. 30 seed Tomas Echeverry and Otto Venerainen. Um, Radul Albat and Jack Draper. 3.30, Timothy Sakov and 13 seed Alex Demeanor. Um, Lloyd Harris and Guido Pela. Nicholas Moreno de Alberon and Lorenzo Sanego. Um, Bing Wu and Dusan Lajovic. Um, Daniel Golan and 2016 Dan Evans. 6 o'clock, Taro Daniel and Gail Monfels. 7 o'clock, Yannick Kaufman and 16 Janik Sinner. 8.15, 1 seed Carlos Alcaraz and Dominic Kofer. And then Key Nishiorgi and Felipe Alves cancel. All right, women's results from yesterday. Um, Caroline Wozniaski over Tatiana Prozova in two sets. 24 seed Magda Lynette over Alexandra Sasnovic in two sets. 6 seed Coco Goff over Laura Siegman in three sets. 30 seed Serana Saresta over Kayla Day in two sets. 11 seed Petra Kivitova and Christina Buska in two sets. Um, Mira Andreva over Olivia Gadiki in three sets. 20 seed Jelena Ostapank over Jasmine Paolini in three sets. Elena Avancayan over Elise Cornette in three sets. Um, Anna Kalansaika over Katarina Siniakova in two sets. 32 seed Elise Mertens over Mirjam Jorkin in three sets. Alta Tomljic over Pana Udovari in three sets. Um, Zia Wong over Victoria Kuzmova in three sets. Um, Jennifer Brady over Kimberly Burrell in two sets. Um, Kaja Juvon over 29 seed Elisabetta Cacioretto in two sets. Um, Lin Zhu over Meyer Sheriff in two sets. Um, Zia Wong over Katie Volanets in two sets. Four seed Alana Rabakina over Marta Kasiuk in two sets. Yuriko Maziaki over Margarita Betova in two sets. Daniel Collins over Linda Fruvitova in two sets. Bernarda Pera upsets 16 seed Veronica Kudamatova in two sets. Sarah Sarias Tormo upsets 28 seed Annalena Kalanina in two sets. 19 seed Patrice Haddad Baya upsets Solana Stevens or beats Solana Stevens in three sets. Lauren Davis over Donka Kovnovic in two sets. 1 seed Iga Swiatek over Rebecca Peterson in a dominant two sets. Um, Rebecca Masarova over 18 Maria Sakari in two sets. 15 Belinda Benchik over Camilla Rakamova in two sets. Taylor Towson over Varvara Gracheva in two sets. Magdalena French over Emma Navarro in three sets. Um, Darius Savile over Claire Nganu in two sets. Anna Carolina Smidlova over Katarina Bandel in three sets. Tensi Carolina Muchova over Storm Sanders in two sets. 
ATC Victoria Azarenka over Fiona Farrow in two sets. And Julia Grabber and Zhu Wang canceled. All right, today's slate, 11 o'clock. 22 seat of Katarina, Alex Randova, and Layla Fernandez. Arena Begu and Tamara Korpach. Katie Bolter and Diane Parry. Ashlyn Kruger and 31 seed Maria Buskova. 14 seed Ludmila Samsonova and Claire Liu. 5 seed Alan Shabor and Camila Osorio. Linda Noskova and Madison Bringle. 12 15. Aransa Roos and 17 seed Madison Keys. 1 o'clock. Um, Nali Han and 19 Marketa Vondrasova. Um, Martina Trevisan and Yulia Putin Seva. 17 Caroline Garcia and Ifan Wong. Tajana Maria and Petra Martic. Um, Elsa Jack Ma and Lizia Sarenko. Um, Yanina Wickmeyer and Vera Zovareva. 2 o'clock, Camelia Georgi and 3C Jessica Pagula. Um, Rebecca Marino and Patricia Maria Teague in 2.15. Um, Caroline Delibe and Clara Burrell. 13C Daria Kostakina and Alicia Parks. Um, Peyton Stearns and Victoria Tomova. 26C Alina Svivalina and Anna Friedsam. Um, 25 seed Carolina Pliskova and Elena Ruse. 3 o'clock Kara Tawson and 2017 Anastasia Potapova. Anastasia Pavlojakova and Fiona Crawley. 4.15. Um, Quinwen Zhang and Nadia Podoroska. Um, Barbara Strykova and Kaya Kanipi. Anna Blankova and Jody Barrage. Lucia Bronzetti and 12 seed Barbara Krajakova. Robin Montgomery and Eva Lice. Sacha Vickery and 21 seed Donna Venchik. 5 o'clock Anna Bogdan and Sophia Kennan. 7 o'clock uh, Greet Minnan and Venus Williams. 9 o'clock Marina Zadaveska and 2 seed Arena Sablenka. Um, Paul Vidosa and Venus canceled, so Venus is now playing Minnan. And then uh, Bianca and Dreska and Lizia Sarenko canceled too. All right, the portfolio. Um, I'm glad I got through tennis in 10 minutes. That was pretty good. Um, so we have some options. Um, I really don't want to step on the college football podcast, which is going to drop today, although it was recorded last week. So, there's a couple I'm considering. A um, couple of soccer features I'm considering. Um, there are other sports... I'm considering. It's the beauty of shopping. Um, so, the Chicago Cubs are plus 270 to win the NL Central. I think that the better way, if you want to think or bet on them to win the Central, is do money line rollovers with the Cubs as underdogs, and then he can fend it off that way. Um, it's amazing that uh, Mookie Betts was thirty five to one for NL MVP. Now he's plus one ten. Um. A spot where I think there's value is the American League Cy Young. I think Garrett Cole, there's a possibility of some voters like not voting him because of the Yankees underachieving this year. So I think that there's value with the AL Cy Young, but I wouldn't go there yet. But 
the one I was eyeing for a future is now nine to one. And that is the Phillies win the National League. The National League pennant. Um, so I'm trying to look at, uh, to make playoffs and such, like, I don't see, uh, um, Otani doing the triple crown's crazy. Let's look at the NFL. Um, There's a couple of division features I'm considering. Not necessarily picking these teams to win their divisions outright, but, like, for the season, but, like, just staring at a lot of division futures. Um, Exact orders are out on FanDuel, which is... A lot of fun. Um, let's go to the conferences. I know I gave out a long shot Super Bowl matchup as portfolio last time. Um... I'm looking at the NFC odds. There's some opportunity for value if you think that the Eagles might be injury riddled or the 49ers get injury riddled too. So there's opportunity to bet on that. But there's something I'm eyeing, and that's the worst record. I'm trying to find that. Um, alternate win totals, season leaders, season specials. Here we go. Last winless team, worst record. Here we go. Um, the Cardinals are the easy favorites at plus 250. But there's a couple other teams that I can make case for, and then the odds for them are going down because of people talking about it and such within the media. One that I have my eye on for worst record is the Las Vegas Raiders at 13 to 1. And the other one is the Los Angeles Rams at 10 to 1. I can see the Rams absolutely blowing it up and starting over. And maybe Kyler Murray comes back and the Cardinals exceed expectations a little bit. The Raiders, the case for them is Garopp- they're betting on Garoppolo getting hurt, but everybody and their mother loves Aiden McDonald or McConnell from Purdue. So. I'm going to do a quarter of a unit on the Rams to have the worst record in the league at 10-1 to for my portfolio bet for this week. All right, now we're going to do my NFL defensive end rankings. We were supposed to do this on the Monday show and the tackles on the Friday show. So we're going to do both edge rush positions on today's show. So we'll do... Defensive ends first. So without further ado, here we go. 50, LJ Collier, Cardinals, 49, Jonathan Harris, Broncos, 48, Larry Ogunjabi, Steelers, 47, Jerron Reed, Seahawks, 46, George Karlaftis, Chiefs, 45, Morgan Fox, Chargers, 44, Dietrich Weiss Jr., Patriots, 43, Broderick Washington, Ravens, 42, Mike Donna, Chiefs, 41, Deshaun Williams, Panthers, 40, Kalijah Cansey, Buccaneers, 39. Dean Lowry, Vikings, 38. Roy Robertson, Harris, Jaguars, 37. Samson, Ubicom, Colts, 
36, Draymond Jones, Seahawks. 35, Jonathan Grenard, Texans. 34, Drake Jackson, 49ers. 33, Devontae Wyatt, Packers. 32, Denico Autry, Titans. 31, Demarcus Walker, Bears. 30, Marquise Copeland, Rams. 29, John Kaminsky, Lions. 28, Zach Allen, Broncos. 27, Carl Granderson, Saints. 26, Harrison Phillips, Vikings. 25, Kenny Clark, Packers. 24, Adafi Owe, Ravens, 23, Quiddy Pay, Colts, 22, Yannick Ngakwe, Bears, 21, Will Anderson, Jr., Texans, 20, Carl Lawson, Jets, 19, Sam Hubbard, Bengals, 18, Chandler Jones, Raiders, 17, Zach Sealer, Dolphins, 16, John Franklin, Myers, Jets, 15, Class Campbell, Falcons, 14, Leonard Williams, Giants, 13, Josh Sweat, Eagles, 12, Chase Young, Commanders, 11, Trey Hendrickson, Bengals, 10, Greg Russo, Bills, 9, Aiden Hutchinson, Lions, 8, Montez Sweat, Commanders, 7, Cameron Jordan, Saints, 6, Brandon Graham, Eagles, 5, Demarcus Lawrence, Cowboys, 4, Max Crosby, Raiders, 3, Von Miller, Bills, 2, Micah Parsons, Cowboys, number 1, Nick Bosa, San Francisco 49ers. Um, Nick Bosa's holding out right now, but I expect him to come back, so... I do think, ultimately, he will come back. Parsons really has emerged over the past several years as an elite pass rusher in the league. Von Miller, it's a health thing with me, but based on his reputation, that's why he gets the high ranking. Max Crosby, really underrated because he's on the terrible Raiders team. Demarcus Lawrence, I always thought was underrated. But some people say he's overrated, but I think he's underrated. And he gets too much hate because of Dallas's other deficiencies on their team. Um, Brandon Graham's come on for the Eagles over the past several years. Cam Jordan, super underrated. Montez Sweat had a good year last year. Aiden Hutchinson, I think, breaks out. Greg Russo is on the come, too. And then even guys all the way down to 15 at Calais Campbell, you could argue for top 10 on the list, but... In general, this position is weaker than it's been in years past. Now we'll do the outside linebacker ranking. I believe this position is deeper than defensive end. 57, Byron Young, Rams 56, Blake Cashman, Texans 55, Dennis Gardick, Cardinals 54, Baron Browning, Broncos 53, Michael Hoquette, Rams, 52. Christian Harris, Texans, 51. Jamie and Sherwood, Jets, 50. Nicholas Morrow, Eagles, 49. Charles Harris, Lions, 48. Robert Spillane, Raiders, 47. Oren Banks, 49ers, 46. Dyer, Franklin, Colts, 45. Quincy Williams, Jets, 44. Alex Anzalone, Lions, 43. Zach Bond, Saints, 42. Bud Dupree, Falcons, 41. Jameen Davis, Commanders, 40. Azizo Zolari, Giants, 39. Lorenzo Carter, Falcons, 38. Damone Clark, Cowboys, 37, Jack Sambor, Bears. 36, Joe Tribon, Shoninka, Buccaneers. 35, Zayvon Collins, Cardinals. 34, Boye, Mafe, Seahawks. 33, Jelani, Tave, Patriots. 32, Uchenna, Nawusi, Seahawks. 31, Trayvon Walker, Jaguars. 30, Tyus Bowers, Ravens. 29, Harold Andre, the third, Titans. 28, TJ Edwards, Bears. 27, EJ Speed, Colts. 26, Arden Key Titans, 25, Patrick Queen Ravens, 24, Matt Milano Bills, 23, Willie Gay Chiefs, 22, Jermaine Pratt Bengals, 21, Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa Browns, 20, Matt Judon Patriots, 19, Bradley Chubb Dolphins, 18, Randy Gregory Broncos, 17, Preston Smith Packers, 16, Justin Houston Panthers, 15, Jalen Phillips Dolphins, 14, Brian Burns Panthers, 13, Kayvon Thibodeau Giants, 12, Marcus Davenport, Vikings. 11, Peter Werner, Saints. 10, Alex Highsmith, Steelers. 9, Josh Allen, Jaguars. 8, Khalil Mack, Chargers. 7, Shaquille Barrett, Buccaneers. 6, Hassan Reddick, Eagles. 5, Rashawn Gary, Packers. 4, Daniel Hunter, Vikings. 3, Drake Greenwald, 49ers. 2, Joey Bosa, Chargers. Number 1, TJ Watt, Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, TJ and Joey Bosa, to me, are hands down the best two. Outside linebackers in the league. Greenlaw really had a big moment for the 49ers last year, and I think he's only going to get better. Daniil Hunter's awesome. Rashawn Gary's awesome. 
Hassan Reddick had a breakout year last year. Shaq Barrett, I think, is a player in decline. Same with Khalil Mack, but based on reputation, I have them in those respective spots. I think Josh Allen's on the comps. Alex Highsmith just got paid. Um, Pete Warner's a good player on the Saints. He's up and coming. Davenport, new team, maybe change of scenery there. Kayvon Thibodeau is, might be in the top 10 of this list next year. So this position is pretty deep. Brian Burns is good. Jalen Phillips might be top 10 next year. So outside linebacker is a deeper position than defensive end this year. And even guys in the 20s, I think, could be on the come. Matt Milano, Willie Gay, Patrick Queen. So there you have it. Um, so... Um, there you have it for outside linebackers. All right, now move on to the news and notes for today. We have a lot to get to. Um, just coming down right now, um, um, the Ryder picks or the Ryder Cup teams are out. Justin Thomas and Brooks Kepka among final six captains. Um. The event begins September 29th. Um, Zach Johnson is the captain, and he announced that Kepka, Colin Murakawa, Justin Thomas, Ricky Fowler, Jordan Spieth, Sam Burns will be on the squad when the event begins on September 29th. So that is pretty cool. And we'll cover it once it gets closer. Um. A lot of football stuff going on today. Cuts are going to happen. Trades are going to happen. And I just saw a report that if Jonathan Taylor isn't traded today, he may sit for the whole year, which is absolutely brutal for the Colts. The Raiders just cut Jaquan Johnson. The Giants cut David Stills. Um, the Giants also acquired Boogie Basham, who is a former second-round pick of the Buffalo Bills. Um, Wondell Robinson... Um, Set to come off the PUP list as the Giants got Jamison Crowder. So Crowder's going to have to find a new team. So um, that opens up Pandora's box a little bit. Um, reports out on NFL Network. Um, Kadarius Tony could be back for the uh, season over after uh, a partially torn meniscus. Um, the Cardinals cut Colt McCoy. And either Josh Jobs or Clayton Toon will be Arizona's week one starter. They should go Josh Dobbs because what if Clayton Toon's good? And then they're out of the uh, Caleb Williams sweepstakes. But if they start Clayton Toon and Clayton Toon's good, maybe that Rams worst record thing may work out. The Texans released Christian Kirksey. Um, 124 tackles last year. He was... Their team captain. Um, that's brutal. That's somebody that I think the Giants should consider picking up. That'd be a good fit there. Um, the Jets, I think, would be really good there. Um, there's some other teams I could think of. And then back to the Cardinals. Jonathan Gannon says it's a competitive advantage. Um, then we have... Um, college football, um, the ACC, um, uh, met last night as there's reports that they may formally vote on adding Stanford, Cal, and SMU. Nothing came down about that, so I guess they didn't do the vote. Um, so Notre Dame versus Navy set the world record for most Americans traveling internationally for a single sporting event, 39,000. So that's crazy. Baseball, um, reports came out from SNY's Andy Martino that Brian Cashman wants to keep Aaron Boone and Hal Steinbrenner would have to overrule Yankees front office in order to fire Aaron Boone. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. But then again, wanting to keep somebody doesn't necessarily mean you have to keep them. Sometimes it comes out like that and we know it's lying season. I've seen this happen in other sports. 
And then it turns out that the guy isn't safe after all. So don't always buy what you read. I know Anthony Martino is really good at his job. It really is tied in with the Yankees and the Mets very well. But if this is true, that is a joke. An absolute disgrace of a joke. I don't think either of them are back next year. I've been saying it on the podcast, and I still um, don't feel good about it now with this Martino report. And um, I do have my doubts, and both of them could very well be back next year. But I keep saying, if Brian Cashman really gave a shit about this season, then he would have made better trades at the trade deadline, like he did last year and the year before and the prior years leading up. This is the worst Yankee season of my lifetime, and there is no way that Brian Cashman or Aaron Boone should be back as employed by the New York Yankees next season. Ugh. I hate talking about the Yankees on this podcast. Um, All right, the Red Sox, meanwhile, call up third baseman uh, Sedan Rafaela, the league's number 77 ranked prospect. Set to join the big league team. That's pretty cool that the Red Sox are calling people up. Um, Matt Chapman to the injured list with the finger sprain. That's brutal for the Blue Jays. Hopefully he's back and ready to go for the postseason. Edwin Diaz nearing return as he says his goal is to pitch the season. Schoelter says the Mets will let him pitch if healthy. It's not worth it. The Mets are out of their minds if Edwin Diaz pitches this year. They're out of it, and he has no business pitching. If they were like a game back of the wild card, sure, but um, come on. That's so stupid if the Mets do that. It would be so LOL Mets if he comes back and blows out his UCL on this first pitch and gets Tommy John surgery. So if I'm the Mets, I don't do that. Um, Tony Gonsolin to have Tommy John surgery as he's likely to miss all of next year. That's just brutal for the Dodgers. I just feel like the Dodgers lose guys each and every year, and it doesn't matter, and they win the division every year, and then they don't win the World Series other than the COVID year. Um, Jose Altuve hit for the cycle against the Red Sox. Um, Astros' first cycle since 2013, so that's pretty cool. Um... Max Scherzer denies the Verlander thing as he demisses talk that the Mets had a toxic clubhouse. He goes, that's definitely not the reason why we lost. Um, Maybe it was, and you're lying. Or maybe the team just wasn't that good to begin with, which is really the case. Tanner Houck fractured his face on a live drive, and he had a 3D mold of his skull made into a chain, so that's pretty cool that he did that um all right so there's some rumors that gunshots happened at the white Sox home ballpark as chicago police think gunshots that wounded two fans during friday's white Sox game were fired from inside the stadium that's brutal the white Sox gotta have cameras and they better get evidence. Soccer, um, U.S. Women's National Team, October Friendlies, Columbia on October 26th, and October 29th in San Diego. Or we'll play Columbia in Sandy, and then in San Diego. So that's pretty cool, against Columbia. Benjamin Pavard to enter as he'll join... Um, Enter on Wednesday, so that's pretty cool. Um, Bronny James is doing extremely well, according to Andy Enfield. Says that everyone is hopeful that he can return to the court after suffering cardiac arrest in July. So that'd be a great story if he came back. Um, and then um, Media news, Brian Boucher to TNT as he'll leave ESPN to go to TNT as he'll be reunited with his former NBC colleagues, Kenny Albert and Eddie Olchek. So that 
is pretty cool. And then one more football thing that just came down is that the Vikings have been getting calls about Jalen Rager. I feel like Rager's a cut candidate if he's not traded today. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, I'm going to lay a quarter unit on it. So best bets have been getting a quarter unit only um, because I need to be playing it safe with football season coming. Um, So I'm going to lay a quarter unit. I'm tempted to pick the Tigers against the Yankees. Um, The Brewers against the Cubs is a good one. But the one that jumped out at me the most, um, Ken Waldachuk's just really bad. Um, But the A's, um, could the Mariners do it by themselves is the question. But I like the under in the Dodger game, but the Dodgers could easily go over by themselves. So I'm going to go hold my nose and take the over in the uh, um, A's-Mariners game. It's 7.5. That's low. So over 7.5, minus 118 for my best bet of the day. All right, that's it. For today's show, I'll be back tomorrow going over everything, including all the NFL cuts and trades that we see. And then we will do the uh, inside linebacker rankings on tomorrow's show as well. Hope you guys have a great day, everyone.